Hey, what's going on, people? We're here on job site yet again doing another repair. And what I got behind me on today's episode of the repair is this heat pump right here has sprung a very big leak. And um, because actually, the customer of Bison wanted to do something with the pool and they completely shut off all of the return valves here and left only the water coming in here as the pump was running and actually popped the inside. Let me show you. All right, so we got our pump running here. We're gonna turn our water on coming into the heat pump. And I believe it's coming from down there by the check valve. It's kind of hard to see. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shut down the pump. We're gonna take off the unions here, uh, disconnect all the electrical and move this heater back and off to this platform here on the side. So that now we're gonna have to go ahead and do our loop so that our spa can continue to keep uh, circulating. At this time, our spa is completely shut down for the same reason. And we were just maintaining the pool the best that we can and add liquid chemicals to the to the spa we're going to get that back up and running today all right now that we got it uh, all the plumbing taken care of now we're going to open up the front panel up here and we're going to remove the electrical first off let's make sure that that circuit breaker is off and it is all right Always check to make sure. We're good to go. So I was very curious once I pulled everything apart, okay, to find out exactly why. So I put everything back together again, uh, meaning putting the heater back and plumbing it back. And what ended up happening was actually that this spout where this connector goes to is what broke so we're going to take this and we're going to see if we can find something to this effect and put it back so all this is is had like a little spout that must have just broke off i don't know if we're going to find it but we could try stay tuned all right so to a little piece of almond So we're at my favorite store. This is the part right here. We gotta try to see if we can find something. There's a special section here. It's all about connectors and hoses. Let's go see if we can find it. This is the section you gotta look for. See if we can find something. Ooh, something just like that. Something like that. See these little spouts? That's very similar to what we got. So we actually found it, something extremely similar to what we got going on. This is a quarter inch threaded with a quarter inch spout. Check out that. It's gonna work perfectly. And this is brass. And it should work out for the customer, save her a lot of money. Let's go. This is the part right here. It's a hose barb, eighth of an inch in diameter, quarter inch threaded. And remember, this is for all your hoses and connectors and hose barbs and everything. Home Depot section has a lot of good stuff. Thanks to your associate.
a little bit of magic lube on it. All right, we got everything back up and running again. Everything's connected. We got our uh, inlet water supply to the heater on. Water's going in, coming back out. I think there's a connector. Our two connectors actually one on the left and the lower on the lower pipe and our brass one that we just finished uh, connecting um, we went ahead and reconnected all the electrical we tried to start it up but it immediately popped and all of the smoke started coming from the compressor down there so we know that this heater is not running and will probably won't run and it's not worth it to repair it uh, this repair is merely just to stop the water from leaking and instead of doing all the loop customer asked me if I can uh, try to see if I can find something and thank you Home Depot for selling parts uh, like this we were able to utilize get our customer back up and running and best thing of all we got the spa flowing again All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start picking up and putting the panel back together again. All right, so we're all done here. I relabeled all the pipes to ensure that hopefully the customer now can understand the way this water flows and what each valve is. Yeah, so we got this all repaired up. If you're looking for someone who is going to go the extra mile for you, specifically in around the holiday season, give it at least some a call. Always willing to help and think outside the box to save time and unnecessary um, installations of new products if we can, just to help out, like we did in this case. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day. Ciao.